yeah, um, this time I want to talk about something that I really miss in the comic book industry. I think it needs to come back also. I'm talking about Wizard Magazine. A lot of the people who've been reading comics for maybe about 10, 12, 15 years, they may have know, they may know what Wizard Magazine is. A lot of the new readers, about five some years old readers who've been reading for that long, they may have no idea what Wizard Magazine is. Wizard Magazine was the go-to magazine for anyone who wanted to read comic books. If you wanted to start out reading comic books, you would buy your, you would buy like your, your daily, your weekly or monthly stash of comic books and you will always have a Wizard Magazine sitting right on top of your stack because how would you know what else is going on in the comic book world unless you had a Wizard Magazine? And one of my favorite things in the Wizard Magazine was the casting calls. They had the casting calls, they had articles about writers and artists, talked about what artists what artists meant when they were drawing this certain, like this certain panel inside the comic book. I mean, now we got like, we got sites like Bleeding Cool, uh, Newsarama, comic book resources. We got all those kind of sites we can go to now, but it still isn't the same as having a Wizard Magazine. Cause you had like a lot of jokes, a couple of inserts, a lot of insidery stuff inside Wizard Magazine. You know, you, you would see like Galactus pop up every once in a while. Like he was like a, a regular character, just say random silly things inside the inside the Wizard, Wizard Magazine. And the casting call was always awesome because you always had you always had like one team or one movie that they said like that should come out, and this is this is this is who should be inside of it. So it was nice to see that kind of stuff all the freaking time. Nowadays we got like. Facebook and forums and Tumblr and all the different sites like that we can do casting call ourselves and whatnot. But it was nice to have that magazine around that you can talk to with your buddies or talk to with new readers. Cause I was having a talk before about uh, about Deadpool. Someone thought that he was a carbon copy of pretty much Wolverine, but most of us people who know about Deadpool when he first started back in '94 know that Deadpool is a carbon copy of Slade Wilson. He even shares a name, Wilson. Wade Wilson, Slade Wilson. Sounds exactly the same. He's a complete carbon copy of Deathstroke. And not everyone who's been reading comic book for the past couple of years, past three, four, or five years, would know that about Deadpool unless they had like an outsource like their comic book shop retailer told them about stuff like that. Or the Wizard Magazine would tell them about that. Or like their buddies who've been reading comic books for a long time would tell them stuff like that also. But my point is like Wizard Magazine was always that go-to thing if you if your comic book shop didn't talk to you, if your buddies didn't know anything about comic books either, if you guys both started reading comic books at the same time, Wizard Magazine was that go-to spot to have. I just my whole point about doing this thing right now is I miss I miss the magazine. I miss Wizard Magazine just like I, I miss the 52, the, the pre-52 and the old school Marvel stuff. I'm not gonna bring that up every episode, but I do miss it. It was it was ho hum. It was nice. It was to me. I thought writers did better writing back then than they do now. I think the writing nowadays is kind of lazy and sloppy. You know, there's a few out there that are good in the Marvel and DC universe. Most of all, the indie stuff right now is is blazing. It's absolutely amazing right now. It's really damn good. But a lot of the DC and Marvel stuff, it's it's hard to accept. It's hard to accept like the changing of 75, 65, 50 year old characters just like at a snap. It's hard to, to accept stuff like that. Especially after like a lot of us who've been reading comic books for, for the time that we have, it's hard to accept that like they're changing like drastically. If it was a slight change like how it was in the, in the Crisis on the Infinite Earth and stuff like that, or a post-Infinite Crisis, or the Infinity Gauntlet, or Secret Wars, little changes like that, it, it's fine. But when it's like it's a big drastic change with all your characters and costumes and mythos, that's a shock to your system. And some people bounced back and went back to reading the comic books, even not the help of like Wizard hacking away at everything, which they would have done. We all know that Wizard, Wizard Magazine would have hacked away at everything Marvel DC is doing right now. Those who know about Wizard know that Wizard would not have accepted any of the pre-52 or like the, the new 52 or the Marvel Now stuff. They would have they told Marvel and DC that they, to get in your game and fix it. And I think that's, that's what the fans need is a poster child like or like a, a spokesman 
for all like the real comic book fans like who don't like the drastic change that comic books are doing they need someone to speak and cry out for the comic book fans out there like hey you are the two big fucking comic book companies out there and you're fucking up and the fans don't like it so get in your fucking A game I miss with Wizard Magazine do you guys miss Wizard Magazine because if you do let me know we try to get we have to get someone to bring out Wizard Magazine again it just it has to be done because Wizard was around for a reason and it needs to come back that's about all I got for today until next time you guys have fun